What is up everyone? I'm Elsie Red Green and in today's video we'll be seeing Wilding before the huge nerf that's gonna hit him. Now if you guys don't know the huge nerf is coming very soon and it's basically increasing the cooldown on his boar. So let's say the boar's 40 seconds each time you get on it, now it's gonna increase by like a huge amount. I'm not exactly sure what the numbers are, but it's gonna be a huge nerf. It's gonna really impact the amount of pressure Wilding can give to the hunters because of how long the cooldown is gonna be. And I think each time uh, you use the skill, it increases by, you know, a couple seconds extra. Now, as you can see, Blood Queen does find his ideal target mechanic because you aren't going to find Explorer. Does find mechanic uh, makes her waste two bots. So this will decrease the Cypher Rush and because we do have two slow decoders, Wilding and Merc, the Cypher Rush is going to be really slow. And plus, Explorer, I mean not Explorer, McKen does not have bot out. And Blink is ready for Blood Queen so it's just a matter of time before mechanic goes down. Doesn't use, doesn't need to use Blink. Get her down. I mean, there's not much uh, mechanic can do. Blood Queen is not the hunter that mechanic is able to cut. Mirrors go through walls. Blink is ready. Then mechanic is pretty much dead. Does see explore in distance, but she could go, he could go small and avoid the mirror hit. So explore just pretty much safe. Mech just not Mech. Merc just waiting for the right time to go in for the save while Wilding's decoding his original cipher. Five seven remaining. As you can see, you know how mechanics bot being dead really impacts the momentum of the game for survivors. And Blood Queen does still have blink though, so there's no chance of mechanics to get a rebound cut, especially if you have mirror and blink. Harass a little bit more, maybe get a double down on Merc, but Merc does manage to dodge by a sliver. Wilding is here. Wilding did finish the cipher, so he does have the opportunity to harass by more time for Two, two uh, remaining survivors to decode the three remaining ciphers. Wilding against Blood Queen is pretty easy harassment because Blood Queen, there's really not much Blood Queen do. Escaping as forward. If you don't have mirror, you know, forward and Wilding has the freedom to do whatever they want. As you can see, there, that was pretty simple. Just gotta keep your distance. You don't wanna get too close to the hitbox range of Blood Queen and sit you so fast. You get, you know, just, just make sure, just be careful. If you get too close, you won't get hit. But I do maintain a good distance, force the blink out. I don't know why he, why she used blink on a board that needs takes that needs to take two hits to, you know, get down. But at the same time, I do run out of board, so that blink was pretty much wasted. McKen does die on Explorer Cyber, but there's three cybers remaining. That cyber sounds about like what 60%. Merc is doing the cyber right now. And as you can see, if the mechanic did have bot out, the cyber would be almost prime. Merc just did finish the. Three, one of the three cyphers. Wilding just getting ready to save. You don't need to save too early as Blood Queen because there's really no pressure. It's pretty easy to save against Blood Queen. You wait as long as possible. Wait for it to hit you, then go for the save. You don't want to save too early. Get the hit out, go for the save. McCann just needs to kite for a little bit longer. We do need a new cypher to be worked on. Does miss the blink, does miss the uh, mirror. Pretty good jukes from Mechanic. Go straight and open, but that did hit her last second. Now, when you see a wilding on your team, it's different from forward. You don't want to die near an obstacle. You want to die in an open area when there's a, a lot of space for wilding to push. One side for remaining to go, wilding to buy as much time as possible. And because his boar and his buck, he could buy a lot of time as long as he doesn't mess up. Goes for a stun. The mirror is basically useless because I'm so fast. Mechanic is free to go. Merc is still doing the last ever 72%. Doesn't last the next mirror. And the cyber will be prime. Explorer is also here to body block while I'm you know waiting for someone to get down. This one takes the hit. Cypher almost done. As you can see, hog, uh not hog rider. Wilding is going to gate. Mechanic is just trying to die to mirror to get in a good spot to kite. The cyber is prime. Blood Queen does know the cyber is prime, so she does not gonna she is not gonna use mirror. But this buys us, buys the survivor time to go for, to prime a gate. Both, since there's four survivors, both get to be prime. 
Now in order to counter uh, the Blood Queen's tactic of saving Mirror and getting you down, uh, you basically you just gotta... You wanna, when a Cypher is prime, you wanna die away from Terror. Because gates only take 20 seconds to open and as long as you got a mirror, that attack recovery, that cheering time, as long as like as long as those two add up together to become 20 seconds, the gate will be open and even with teleport, Blood Queen's not gonna have enough time to get anyone down. Luckily Mechanic did manage to dodge that Max Treasure's mirror. I think Blood Queen did put it a little bit too far, but it works in our favor. So yeah. You know, wilding carry didn't need to use forward. Uh, Saber usually bans forward, and you know that's one of my characters. So I went wilding in this match. Saber is also a scope domain. Wilding definitely counters uh, sculptor as well. So wilding was a perfect pick. Now this is wilding before the nerf. We're gonna miss him. He might be you know, taking out the meta because first officers can get a buff as well. So who knows? We'll see. Anyways, enjoy this Hunter's gameplay, and uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Yeah. <sighs> 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 <sighs>